a very good evening class 11th the topic for the day is aromatic compounds now initially when this topic was introduced these aromatic compounds have a specific odor and they were classified as aromatic later on there were conditions for a compound to be called as aromatic and these were the conditions of aromaticity which means how do you say that yes a compound is aromatic the first compound which you already know which can be classified as an aromatic compound is your benzene as you can see what is so specific about benzene it is number one cyclic all carbons have got a double bond that means their hybridization is sp2 it is a closed ring compound also it has three pi bonds according to you so the pi electrons in this case is 6 now when we do it for any aromatic compound the conditions of aromaticity are the first thing it should be cyclic second thing it should be planar by planar we refer that the hybridization should be sp2 which also means that your carbon should have at least one pi bond in case of carbon fine the third point under this category is that in this case generally single and double bond are placed alternatingly means you have an alternate single and a double bond generally in such compounds lastly and the most important is should obey the huckel's rule now that is something new since it has a name automatically has an importance when we talk about huckel's rule it states that the number of electrons in the ring involved in resonance now what do i mean by resonance the delocalized electrons of the ring now which actually the delocalized electrons of the ring we actually mean by this is the pi electrons inside the ring as well as if there is a lone pair which is of a member of the ring which is also involved in resonance so these electrons of the ring should be the sum of these electrons should be equal to 4n plus 2 that's the formula so the number of electrons in resonance should be equal to 4n plus 2 where n has to be a whole number now what do our what are whole numbers whole numbers begin from 0 1 2 3 and 4 so on so if the whole numbers are these then you should understand that the value for these 4n plus 2 pi electrons if n is equal to 0 this can be what will be the value two electrons if n is equal to 1 4n plus 2 will be how much come on six electrons if n is equal to 2 what will it be 10 electrons if n is equal to 3 what would it be 14 electrons 18 electrons 22 electrons and so on so if your pi electrons and the lone pair in resonance inside the ring falls under this number we say the compound is aromatic i repeat should be cyclic closed ring planar should have carbons as sp2 generally it has a single and a double bond are generally placed alternatingly as you can see in this case obeys the huckel's rule which is of importance the huckel's rule states that the total of pi electrons and the lone pairs involved in resonance for the ringed atoms should be equal to 4n plus 2 now what is n in this case n can be a whole number whole numbers begin from 0 and it continues so if your total number of pi electrons and lone pairs inside the ring comes to be this we say the compound is aromatic i would now be explaining the concept with the help of examples let us take this as my first example now have a look at this particular compound can you see the number of pi electrons this is one pi bond 
this is the other pi bond and there is a lone pair which is also involved in resonance therefore your total of the two pi bonds is equal to 4 electrons plus a lone pair that makes it 6 is equal to 4n plus 2 therefore n comes out to be 1 so huckel's rule it obeys number 1 is it cyclic yes is it planar yes the reason why it is planar is your carbons have got a double bond and this lone pair is involved in resonance so we do not have any problems with this this compound is called aromatic coming to this is it cyclic yes are all the carbons planar and the value is no the reason is this particular carbon this particular carbon has no pi bond therefore it is sp3 therefore it is 3d therefore it is tetrahedral so this does not fall in our category hence it is non aromatic coming to the third example is it cyclic yes do all the carbons have at least one pi bond please check stop the video for a second and check whether all the carbons have a pi bond and they have let's count the pi electrons how many pi bonds do we have 1 2 3 4 and 5 5 bonds pi bonds so the pi electrons is going to be 10 and they are delocalized so your 10 is equal to 4 and plus 2 n comes out to be 2 which is a whole number it is cyclic it is planar obeys huckel's rule so this is aromatic moving to the example number 4 is it cyclic yes do all the carbons have at least a pi bond yes now count the pi electrons inside the ring so that you can check whether it follows the huckel's rule or not there are total of four pi bonds therefore this compound has got eight electrons inside the ring which are in resonance now eight is equal to 4n plus 2 if eight is equal to 4n plus 2 what is the value of n the value comes out to be 3 by 2 that is 1.5 it is not a whole number so this is non aromatic moving to the next example this is my fifth example is can this ever be aromatic no the reason is it is not cyclic so there is nothing to go beyond this there is no point checking whether it's planar or whether does it obey huckel's rule because it is not cyclic so it will not be aromatic moving to example number 6 In this case, you have a compound like this. Now, this particular compound, when you count the pi bonds, you will only be counting these two because these are inside the ring. This pi bond is not to be included because this is outside the ring. That's one. So your pi the uh, the four electrons are equal to your pi electrons. Therefore, four is equal to four n plus two. That is one problem. Where n comes out to be how much? the n value is half which is not a whole number so huckel's rule it does not obey in any case but the other problem is this particular carbon this particular carbon is sp3 so it is 3d and it is 109.5 degrees and it is tetrahedral so it is not planar so this compound will not be aromatic moving to the seventh compound which is my this compound let's check does it become cyclic yes it is cyclic check whether all the carbons have at least one pi bond so that the hybridization is sp2 stop the video for a minute and check it out 2 3 please check yes all the carbons do have a pi bond let's count the pi electrons inside the ring the pi electrons will be 1 2 3 4 5 pi bonds so it would be 10 so your 10 is equal to 4n plus 2 for this question your n comes out to be how much 2 so this falls under the category of aromatic coming to the next example looking at this example your example number 8 the problem lies in this carbon as you can see this carbon has not got a pi bond so this is sp3 and it is 3d it is not planar since it is since it is not planar you do not need to talk about the huckel's rule so this is not aromatic coming to the next example the ninth example please this ninth example you can see there are two pi bonds inside it all the carbons have got a pi bond therefore you have four electrons fall in the category of 4n plus 2 when you calculate this up 
your n value comes out to be half which is not a whole number so this is not going to be aromatic moving on to the last example of the day this is a specific example if you talk about individual rings under the category of individual rings there are 6 pi electrons and this falls under the huckel's rule your n comes out to be 1 so this is individually aromatic this is individually aromatic but if i take the whole compound as such in this whole compound how many pi electrons do i have there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 pi bonds so there are 12 electrons now if you fit this into the huckel's rule what do you get 4n plus 2 is equal to 12 if 4n plus 2 is equal to 12 what is the value of n please calculate it comes out to be 5 by 2 which is equal to 2.5 it is not a whole number since it is not a whole number this compound on the whole is not aromatic individually rings may be aromatic so just let me conclude the class the best example for aromatic compounds in your course is your benzene it is cyclic it has all carbons with at least one pi bond it has alternatingly single and the double bond and it does obey the huckel's rule because the pi electrons are 6 so your 6 is equal to 4n plus 2 your n value comes out to be 1 so it follows the huckel's rule so all compounds having benzene in them also do have a specific order but are aromatic by the huckel's rule so with this class i end the conditions for aromaticity and the aromatic compounds required in class 11th for the chapter of general principles of organic chemistry as well as you will require in the chapter of hydrocarbons hope you have liked the video please keep liking sharing the my channel with the others to make the concept simpler bye god bless you do stay happy and enjoy chemistry bye